Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Lonnie Mattingly here with Mid Morning Manor coming to you from the home office. And I'm so delighted that you've tuned in. I hope you'll stay tuned for these next few minutes. And uh, let me give you a thought that you can take with you today and that you can meditate on a little bit that might just help you to get to that next level of spirituality in your life. It might help you to be able to resolve some problems that you're facing. It may help you to become one who can do good for others. I, I don't know what God has in store for you today, but I believe his his word will not return to him void, and he'll do something with it. And we're in Mark chapter number uh, chapter number 10 this week, and uh, we're looking at the old blind Bartimaeus who was sitting by the roadside begging, and Jesus came by. And, and uh, we're talking about today, do something regardless of the present circumstances. In verse 49, after he had called on Jesus, and, and I'll, I'll go back and read in verse 48, uh, 47. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, that, that is when Bartimaeus heard that, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace. All the people around there said, Bartimaeus, you're making a fool of yourself. Shut up. You're embarrassing us. But he cried the more a great deal. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And listen to this, verse 49. And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort, and rise, he calleth for thee. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus wants to be involved. When Jesus heard about Bartimaeus and heard Bartimaeus, he didn't say, I don't have time for that man. He, he Jesus called for him. He said, bring him to me. I, I want to see him. I want to hear him. I want to talk to him. I, I want to make a difference in his life. And that's exactly what Jesus was able to do. The people that God uses are those who step out in faith. Those who are, <laughs> those are not necessarily ideal circumstances. Bartimaeus didn't seem to be in ideal circumstances. He was sitting there with his clothes on, with it, with his probably a dirty gown of some kind, and and a, a basket there for people to put alms in to give him some money or or food or whatever. And he was calling out and and calling for an alms. But then Jesus came along and made a difference in his life. If you're waiting for the perfect circumstances and the perfect time to start, it'll never happen. You got to do it now. You've got to decide, I'm going to take control of my circumstances. I want God to use me. Aren't you thankful that when you call on God, you're never put on hold? You get right through. God wants to hear from you. He wants to bless you. He wants to help you. We have a direct line, and I hope you'll get on that direct line. The next time you face an issue, a situation, lose your temper, or, or somebody doesn't like you, or whatever it is, that you'll say, by the grace of God, I'm just going to spend some time with my heavenly father. I'm going to call on him. And I believe he's going to help me and guide me and strengthen me. I pray that you will. Heavenly father, thank you for our audience. I pray you'll bless each and every one of them. I know that there's somebody out there that's hurting a great deal today. I pray, father, you'll give the comfort, the help that only you can give. I pray, father, that you'll give the strength to be aware of their need and be willing to say with the help of God, I'm going to step up to the plate. I'm going to do what I need to do. I'm going to make that difference in my life. I'm going to take responsibility and not blame it on somebody else. I'm going to take responsibility to make the improvement that God wants me to have. And Father, we'll give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen.